The main topic was supposed to be tonight. Yes. Loki being at the center of Marvel's the MCU's multiverse saga. So I kind of it it, it kind of got my brain thinking a little bit, right? So like I'm sure Leo, I'm sure you got stuff to say about this as well. Yeah. Um, but I had a thought because obviously I don't know the full the full realm of Secret Wars. I have to go back and look up more of like how Secret Wars ends, is that and the other thing. Right. But here was my thought. We haven't really gotten a beyonder yet in the MCU. Right. I don't know if we're going to get one between now and Secret Wars. This they could do it, you know, I'm assuming they yeah. could find a way to do it. Do you kind of think they're going to put Loki in that kind of role because he is so strong now because like technically Loki God of Stories is very fucking strong. <laughs> yeah. And I almost feel like yeah. RDJ is going to be kind of gunning for him to break the multiverse. So like if that's RDJ's goal, and obviously we made a full 180 from Avengers 1 to Secret Wars when Loki's trying to take over and RDJ stops him, and now we're going to have RDJ trying to take the multiverse from Loki, do you think that they kind of make Loki the like the main, if the main, if you will, like is that their kind of game plan here where, where he's going to kind of be your beyonder, but it's not going to be the beyonder type of thing, right? That's kind of where my mind went immediately. And you guys remember a couple of weeks ago when I said uh, RDJ is not going to be playing Doom for a very long time? Mm. <laughs> this is what I was hinting at. Oh, this is what you were hinting at? Okay. I'm yes. Yeah, all right. All right. Because there's no fucking possible way that Doom beats Loki. God of Stories. God of, God of Stories. I don't, I, don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. Before I was God, he already knows what happens before and what came after. Mm. You got to realize that. He's seen it happen and can rewind it, replay it, rewind it, replay it. It's the same way as um, uh, the one uh, the one above all. Uh, what's, uh, what's his name? Um, Mahershal. Not Mahershal. Um, oh, you're talking about freaking Jonathan Majors? Jonathan Majors. Yeah. He's, he knows the ending. He knows what's going to happen. He's the one writing the script. Mm -hmm. I was watching an interview that uh, Tom Hiddleston did with, I want to say it was Jimmy Fallon. And this was mm -hmm. right after the finale of Loki season three. I've seen it, yeah. And um, he, he basically said, listen, Loki right now is sitting on a throne he is practically a tree right now, and I'm on vacation. Yeah. He says, I'm on vacation. Tom Middleton says, I'm on vacation. Mm -hmm. He says, like, I've been doing this for a long time. He says, I'm taking a break. So he says, as long as he's sitting right there, I said, don't, in so many words, he says, don't call me back too soon, because, like, I'm not going <laughs> to answer the phone. Like, let me have my time right now. And you know what? And he deserves it. Like, you know, yeah. he's been doing his role for so long. And this right here, and I think they're not, I don't, I think this is where they're ending it at. This was a perfect place to put him on ice at for right now until mm -hmm. they need him again which i'm sure he's going to definitely have to come back into the fold especially with what you have on the screen of him being the center of the multiverse saga so he, he's not done yet but right now he's he, he's just chilling he's just chilling right now in that tree let him chill right there let him do his thing and and we'll revisit this in about hmm, what was secret wars See, yeah, six years. That's about, what, 20, four, 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 four. No, they said 20, 20, 20, 27, 27, 27, 27 Secret for Secret Wars. Yeah, it's on, it's on three about, about three years. Three yeah, years. Three years. Wait, wait, how many years has it been since Loki ended? Uh, Loki ended at the last year. It was last year. Mid last year? Middle last year? Yeah, middle last so year. Yeah, so you got about three, what, four years? That's a good time. Gives, gives them a three ish, a three ish, four ish year break. Yeah, something yeah, like that. You know? I was, I don't know about y'all, but I was just so blown away by the visuals of that scene. Like I, like, I literally, like, you know, because a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go back and look at people's reactions. I found myself skipping through the whole episode just to get to the reaction of that one scene. And everybody had the same reaction, like, that, that like, wide eye, jaw hit the floor. Like, that was just visually stunning how mm -hmm. they pulled that off. I can tell most of the budget went to that scene. It's, it's the way that, it, this is the thing. We know that Marvel has a villain problem. Of course, we, we know that Marvel can do a lot of OP characters like they're supposed to be done. They've proven it. Mm -hmm. This is a different level kind of OP. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Well, and we saw his and we saw it. And, and one thing I like about Loki is he had a very interesting arc. Like he had a very full circle arc. Arc. Two hundred percent. Yeah. That I, now, that was organic. That I liked. Now yeah. imagine this: Tony Stark going in trying to fuck up the multiverse, right? Mm-hmm. Creates battle world. No. <laughs> guess who creates well, battle? Guess who? Guess who creates battle world? Uh, who? I thought Loki. it was him. Loki? It is him. It is, it is him in the comic books. Imagine Loki says, oh. "Okay, I'm gonna fuck with your timeline." Here you go. I put you all in fucking battle world. Oh and Doom, shit! And he Doom takes credit for it. Oh, okay. See, I'm learn. I honestly I didn't know that. Okay. So see, now that got. See, so now that has me intrigued. You know, right? That's why I'm like, the more I, the more I like, I can kind of see what Marvel's they can, doing. They can flip this whole they thing without the beyond. It. <laughs> right, they, they they can flip it without the beyond. Right, that was my intrigue. I was yeah, like, mm, yeah. can they flip this without the beyonder? I'm like, okay, they can. They can, they can they're it. talking about like, they're talking about like, okay, Loki's at the center, and they're like, Sylvie's gonna play an essential role at some point. And I was like, okay, and they're like, Sylvie's gonna have a Black Widow esque role in this. Right. And I'm like, okay, interesting. And then I'm like, but to your point, I know Loki God of Stories is very strong, but now Marvel's also introducing some heavy hitters as well, allegedly. Like right. you're talking about Doom. I'm not saying Doom's on the same level as Loki right. got a stories, right. but you're introducing a Doom. There's rumors of Franklin Richards. You're you're introducing some big boy fucking Frank, characters. Franklin you know Richards is going to be yeah. a problem. A problem. And That's the thing. Wanda. And Wanda's gonna Wanda. be back in. It's like Darko you're talking Wanda. about heavy fucking hitters, dude. She's like <laughs> more powerful. She's a being before time right. in the comics. Right. That's, she is known as that. People cannot control her. They still haven't found a character that can fucking beat her yet. Do you think they could put Doctor Strange to Strange Supreme level? Is that in that realm of of no, things no that way. they could, no? What That's about not, no? And I hate you'll, you'll get you'll get Doctor Strange Supreme. He'll be a little bit of a little bit OP, but he'll never be the same power. And I, when he's he not that Loki. power level either. No, okay. not as Loki, not as Wanda. I hate to I hate to bring Supreme. her up. I hate to bring her up. But what about Dark Phoenix? No. I don't know if they're gonna go that route again. I can't I, see I, it. I, I said that's why I said I hate to bring her up. Yeah, the thing I, is, I just the, I don't think they'll do it. The thing is, is with with the Fantastic Four and the Galactus, you after I'm gonna ruin something. But if they ruin, if they if they do the second, I think this is going to be in the second Fantastic Four with a uh, different whole different new cast that um, Galactus will try to eat the planet and. He will leave the planet alone because Phoenix is protecting the planet. And Phoenix, if he kills Phoenix, he kills everything. He kills every other planet that he has to feed on. Phoenix oh. is the whole the Phoenix Force is the, the tie in to all the other living beings in the planet and the universe. But do you think Marvel explores the Phoenix Force again? They, they never ex- explored the Phoenix Force. Well, I know, but do you think but they go they down to Phoenix? The, you think you think they're going to? I don't know. They, they, need, to do it. they need to know. do. They need to do. Well, first of all, if they was to do Phoenix Force, that would have to be, in my opinion, a whole phase. That's, a, that's of basically itself. a phase. Yeah, that's a whole yeah, phase so. in and of itself. Yep, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's a story in itself. Apocalypse is a story in itself. Yeah, they can't do There's short runs, and this is why I'm scared with Fantastic Four. Same. Galactus is not a little fucking character. Doom no. is not a little fucking character. These characters take time to fucking build. What about and Silver Surfer? Another I, fucking another. main major character in which we are getting a female Silver Surfer. So all you incels are going to start getting mad. <laughs> Too late. They already have. You're, you're get, <laughs> but you're, but, you're, but, you're, but you're, we're also going to get both. They already said there's going to be more than you're one. Gonna be, yeah, so. it's going to be both. And I did hear say like I did hear that the female version of her is only going to be for this movie. But for Norn movie. Red is going to continue going continue, forward. Probably, yeah. Because there's multiple heralds, so that I mean that is comic accurate. That's 100 comic accurate. If I didn't. swear, if I swear, if that turns out to be uh, Lakeith Stanfield, oh, I, I, I think might, it is. I, I, I might, I might, I might lose it. I in think a good it is. way. Yeah, I think it is. I just, I find it so. The more stuff that comes out, I'm like, I want to be really optimistic about Marvel moving forward. I'm not saying I'm not, yeah, right. but like, this stuff is just like interesting to me because like. You really want, like I said it a couple weeks back, like you really want to talk about the full circle of Avengers 1, where it's fucking Loki trying to take over the planet and Iron Man stopping him. And you're really going to find a way to go full circle 
and Doom is going to be like one of the main parts of, of Secret Wars, obviously, because they wouldn't do that whole announcement. And who's holding the fucking multiverse together but goddamn Loki. So, like, talk about your all-time full circles for both characters. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it, it's really crazy if Marvel could pull that off in a really good storytelling way. And I heard, I'm not going to take credit for this take. I heard a very good take the other day that Iron Man has always been a bad guy. Iron Man has always wanted to put a shield over the Earth, whether that be a good thing or a bad thing. No. Also, Iron Man, Age of Ultron. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. He's always created Man, things that, were, that ended won. up being bad, right? Ultron. I, I, Iron Man <laughs> 1, a warmonger. Right. Mm-hmm. What was I saying? Iron Man 2. <laughs> the fucking... The way that he was just a, a fucking dick to everybody that he was trying to get their projects and just buy out their projects and not do nothing with them. Yeah. So it, it, I heard that take today, and it made me fucking realize the movie aspect of it. I'm like... Wow, that does actually kind of make sense. That, look, but, that's what. Well, that's why I mean that you go back to that whole line: new mask, same task. Like it's always been the same thing with RDJ's fucking Iron Man. He, he wants he's, to be the villain. He wants to be the bad guy at the end of the day. Like, is what it is. And, he's like, it's not, he, and it's not like he hasn't played a bad guy he, before. But he also just yeah. doesn't give a fuck what you think about it. He's just like, is what it is, bro. I'm smarter than you. Like, fuck it. Like, I'm gonna do what I want to do. Like, <laughs> and he's gonna. And the thing is, I in acting chops, I do not put nothing past. Him. No, I think he'll pull it off. I just I still, can't stand pull it off. I still couldn't stand his character from U.S. Marshal, that damn turncoat. I don't know if y'all saw him. And obviously, yeah. and, and the crazy part about it is Wesley Snipes was in that movie. Oh, god, yeah, mm-hmm. good fucking movie. But oh. yeah, I think if if Loki's rumored to be in this. And they go this route, you're in for a fucking bang. The multiverse will be insane. Like be uh, right now, it's a bang. little messy. It's a little. Me- Don't get me wrong. It's a little messy right now. But if Marvel can find a way to get the Russos to tie this this little bit of a messy knot into something clean and cool, and it kind of all makes sense, I, I think we're all kind of in for a treat. Potentially, mm-hmm. I'm gonna like hold out my optimism because of what the Russos have done. You know what I'm saying? So like. And Loki being involved, it can't be anything but good. Because, yeah. you know, say say anything you want, but those Loki projects were, were crazy. So, yeah, you know I, mean? I, I definitely I, one if, of their better shows. Mm-hmm. If I, if that's the way the way they're going, because yeah. we don't know exactly, but no, if that's the way they're going. Know. Hey, you have the opportunity to fucking knock it out the park. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. All right, we ran a little bit over the two hour mark tonight, but we had a lot to talk about, obviously, with D twenty three and all that, and a bunch of rumors. Um, Batman Cape Crusader. Look out for a, a full review. We'll probably do a full review of the rest of the show soon. Um, we appreciate you guys hanging out for episode one twenty eight. Uh, check us on all forms of socials. Uh, Tori, you want to tell the people where they can find you as well, in case you want to let them definitely know. Find, you can definitely uh, find uh, find me on uh, here. At Tori and Rain Reload. That's an at. Like, I'm on. That's <laughs> nice, sick at. <accident. laughs> Tori and Rain Reloaded. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be putting up my review of Alien Romulus. And ironically, I'm going to be talking about that alien. And then at 6 p.m., I'm going to be talking about illegal aliens. Oh, Jesus. So, <laughs> and, shout, and, shout, uh, and shout out to Leo because Leo was all up and through the chat a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Leo was very active in that chat. I, said, I was not doing nothing. I said the next time, I said, the next time I get on here, I'm going to say Leo was in the chat, but shout out to you for uh, coming through. Um, the Dude, being though. I love, if you guys, if you guys are, please go to Tori's page, follow, subscribe. It is a fucking good time. Mm-hmm. And join that yeah. Discord. That Discord is live, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it in that goddamn Discord. The wild, the wild West out there, I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it in there. <laughs> it's like my second home. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but yeah, but definitely follow me on. Also, you know, I'm on um, X, formerly Twitter. I feel like, why do we keep saying that? I don't but know. Um, uh, uh, X, I'm at Torian Rain and also on Instagram at Torian underscore Rain word um check out torian's channels uh his socials as well also check us out obviously all forms of social media youtube facebook instagram tiktok twitter twitch apple Podcasts, spotify kick and rumble that was a low ding anyway 
We appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We'll catch you next week for episode 129. Maybe these dudes will come home from the beach and decide to join us. Who knows? We don't know. Either way, mm-hmm. we'll figure yeah. it out. <laughs> At least send me a drink or something. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Till next week. Peace. Peace, man. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What well, we told you, it's official. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Non-stop. 24-7-3-6.